Okay, today we have an unboxing. We are unboxing a BBS HD ASI upgrade kit from ERT. And this is actually going to be utilized on a Bafang M600 um, instead of the BBS HD. We're just going to be running in sensorless mode. So we got some documentation here. This is a back 855 mount. However, this is not the version that we'll be going with. We'll probably use end up using this logo though on it. But this is for a, a down tube version. As you can see it's radiused. And the surface that we'll be mounting it on. Um, is flat so we'll be having a one of these made up by tap called swallow um, I'm assuming who that's this is from it looks like the exact same type of print so that's that part then we got the uh, wire harness here let's take a look at this Like we got some labels on it. That's a good thing. Just for people who don't, who don't know where the, what the wiring is. So we got throttle, temp. Brake. NXT display. Heat shrink all the way up to the to the back. Over the edge of the connector. So then we got, I'm guessing this is going to be the. This is this is what this Sorry, I like bubble wrap. And we got the, uh, the back here. And this is the uh, back 855. So, tuning this should be pretty much for free since I have the same controller on my bike running a CYC motor. Color coordinated heat shrink. It's a nice little touch. Black would have worked. I mean, you could still see the color connection of the phase, but the, the color so you can, it fades in between the, the it's nice. A typical back 5.5 five mount ERT sticker on the side probably end up trying to peel that off and place it somewhere else on the bike because that way when this is in the mount you ain't gonna see that maybe let's check it out yeah because when it's in here you're not gonna see that so we'll take the sticker and then we'll Place it on the outside of the back mount. Nice, nice, nice. Looking forward to that. And this is what I've been wanting to get my hands on. This is the NXT display, touchscreen display. And we are going to have Captain Cobb's wallet make a. Uh, mount for this as well. So we got the, the, the docking station here and then the actual display. 
face because you can see it, it actually. Oh, it's kind of hard to tell. In the, in the video, it's kind of hard to tell, but this this section right here comes off. You can probably see a little. Yeah, see the gap right there? That's so this outer dot can come out. So basically, what we're going to do is I'm going to have Cap make up this back dock with these type of mounts to go with the NXT display. So that way, um, you can just sit right on the handlebar. And then um, the docking, you can pull the display off and disconnect it for a key and then have the docking still mounted on with these right here. So that's the plan. Um, obviously it does come with some zip tie path screws to, uh, you know, so you can put the zip tie through and, and then mount it to whatever your handlebar or whatever location that you want. But like I said, we're gonna, I'm gonna have them make more of those mounts and then we'll mount them up on the back. But this, oh, I can't wait to get this powered on and start playing with it. <laughs> it's really nice. Like, I'm going to give you a size size comparison here. This is a, uh, a universal um, for a QS motor. And you can see it's massive size difference. Okay. Then we'll go ahead and compare it here with my bike and the size of a 750C display. So the screen is roughly the exact same size as the 750C 750, 750, um, TFD display, except for the outer, the outer shell, the casing is a little bit more protective and bigger. Um, and obviously you don't have to run the extra button here, so that removes that off of the handlebars um, We have another 750 here and You can see the size So it's bigger than the 500, but it's the exact same size as 750 So looking forward to that